IED students, uh, I'm going to uh, ask that you guys work on finishing up the CO2 project as you should have expected. Um, the last couple days you were supposed to be working on the assembly of the car and I know some of you might not have that done yet. A couple of you might not even have all the parts modeled to be able to assemble the car. So what I have done, because time is at this point running out on us, um, I have gone into Inventor, or I'm sorry, Schoology, I'm Inventor, and uh, in that folder, I have at this point now listed a copy of all of the parts except for the body. I can't model each and every one of your bodies. And I know most of you have that done and we're working on some of the pieces, but we're going to we're going to cut you off on modeling parts and assembling what you have. So fill in from my selection here of what you're missing. OK, um, we need to get your car uh, assembled. And I'm going to be talking about the drawings here that you're going to create and your final deliverable. OK. Um, so this is your goal though that you got a nice assembled car i did put two of them on there um, at this point because i'm going to be out a couple days uh, i imagine this week you can go ahead and um you know don't, don't worry about this rendered image okay i know if you, if you figure it out and play with it okay but don't spend more than a few minutes on that okay um, so you should have your assembled car and i'd like one page that just has a real nice big picture of it um, I'd actually go ahead, I, I don't have this typed anywhere, but go ahead and make an extra of these or print out an extra for me and just go ahead and put it in my turn-in tray because I would love to have one of each over your cars so that we can, um, you know, hang them on the wall and get to see all the different designs. I think that'd be great. Okay. Um, as you can imagine, I haven't taken the time to lay mine. I was getting it done in, in a hospital, a waiting room, um, to kind of give you an, a, an example. Okay, please forgive me if I don't pick up exactly where I left off. I just had to hit pause as I had an important phone call I needed to take. Um, so basically, we are trying to get you guys to finish the assembly, and then I want to think about what is the deliverable going to look like, right? I know you guys have already heard me tell you it's we want to go into report um, cover thing for uh, like the puzzle cube project. Okay, so. Here are, I just typed up real quick the list just to make sure we're all really clear. So final deliverable, you should have a cover page. I would make that in Microsoft Word with a picture of either the car or the CAD assembly, you know, something that represents the whole car. So whether you want to be a, the real picture or a CAD model, I don't care. But you should have your name and things on it that make it look professional and nice. You should have a table of contents then helping us know the order of the rest of all this. So type that up in Word again take the couple minutes to make it look nice and format it you've spent a lot of time working on this project so that's the theme on all this take the last couple moments and polish it don't just you know leave things unformatted uh, you know not capitalizing a title things come on so hear me little things like that just make it after all the time you put into this just make sure you've out of the I's, cross the T's, and that it looks nice for the long haul, okay? Um, the design brief will go into here. So nothing to do there, but just know that it's going to go in there. So your table of contents would list that. Your thumbnail sketches, your decision matrix, helping you figure out what sketch represents what you want. Your design sketch, so sketching out and really thinking through in more detail your design. Then the orthographic drawings, top and side views, helping plan for how to cut it out on the bandsaw. A page with a picture of the foam mock-up. Last week I helped a lot of you get pictures into your email if you needed. So again, take the time, make it look nice, format it. Don't just slap a picture on a page and hit print. Um, a picture of your final car we would like in the deliverable. It doesn't have to be in this exact order. You know, maybe you want that to be your, your final page. Okay, and then CAD drawings. We want your assembled car, the exploded car, parts list and balloons, and then multi-views. You're going to have at least one. They should be dimensioned. So your car body needs to be done. 
On top of that, I would like you to do any piece that you modeled yourself. If you're just getting pieces from me because you never had a chance to model them, then you don't need to do the multi-view. Okay. To be honest, I'm assuming that you still need a few extra minutes to work on your assembly, so you may not have time to do more multi-views. Um, and then also, it's just to kind of a way to give credit to those that modeled extra pieces um, that had the time and were able to do that. Okay, so I can just glance over at my CAD drawings. So I think I showed you the assembly, right? Um, this is just, I was just kind of, you don't have to do a multi-view of the assembly, but I was just kind of messing around with Inventor and did that. Um, but this is one that I just listed that you should have. So. Um, do your best to dimension key features and points, so radiuses of fillets or arcs. Um, look, I messed up and didn't put my, um, my hole and thread note there, right? So I should do that. Um, Okay, anyway, do your best to dimension all the key features. Um, so I did like baseline dimensioning for kind of key points. How long was it flat? You know, at what point did this arc stop? And then it was flat again. So you can see that's kind of a key point. That's a key point. Um, kind of the middle of the fillet. And then I just gave the radius of the fillet. This looked like two straight lines that must have come to a corner. So I probably used the fillet tool there. Okay, so I'm not asking it for it to be perfect, but make an attempt to do your best to think through where are the key measurements that a, another person, if they were going to model my piece, what are the dimensions they would need to recreate this? That should be your kind of driving force or question is, what would I need to know if I'm looking at this picture and I'm trying to model it the same size? Okay. Um, after that, um, yeah, I just have multi-views. You know, I... Um, the axles are pretty easy, so I don't need three different views. I just gave two and the isometric. Um, so I'm not going to zoom in on all of them, but um, I did take some chances to do or some opportunities to do some section views. So I slice the bushing and, you know, I can see the section material. I can see that. So it helps me understand the part um, and dimension the section view. There's my exploded view. This is a required one. So I've, you can see I've got my balloons, I've got my parts list. Um, I explode it in a way that all the parts are visible. Um, yeah. And then my wheels. So you may have the wheels done, you may not. Um, your wheels may look different than mine. Um, I was playing around with the best, trying to find for me what I thought might be the best way to try to dimension and show stuff. You can see I did two different section views. Um, I actually had some other ideas that I'd never went back and tried to execute on the wheel, but, um, you know, some of these stretch me as well. And so, um, like me, you know, do your best and we're learning together and finding new and better ways to help document and show dimensions, etc. Okay. So, but, you know, I found because of the hollow areas between the spokes and trying to capture the detail of the spoke and things that, um, some of the detail that if you really were trying to model, I think that pulls you into maybe l later seeing, oh, I see why he, why he gave me that dimension in that view. Um, okay, so that is the goal at the end of the week by Friday. Our goal is to have, is to have all of those things done, printed, and for right now, let's say paper clipped um, together and put into my turn in tray. That would be your absolute goal. If you don't make it and you need a day or two, that you know we'll we'll just deal with it. But um, no, no, please know that our intent is to move on, and so we may be moving on and applying uh, applying a lot of pressure to now be doing the new thing and then not having time to work on this in class. So that might start putting pressure to come in during edge time or after school or something to wrap this up. And this is a big grade, so you need to make sure you're committed to it, okay? All right, thanks for the video. Um, do your best. I will see you guys soon.